Hi everyone, my name is Steven. I'm one of the biomed at BCITS. Today we're going to talk about the chair wiring and issue that usually occur on PB560 and Legendary. So between the PB560 and the Legendary, there's slightly different. They look the same but slightly different. This sinusoidal light that indicate the AC power, Legendary also has sinusoidal light. And then the next one is the DC power with the straight line and dash dash dash. The legend there also has DC power with the straight line and the two dashes. Now on PB560, we got the light here showing that um, the PB it's working on internal battery right now. But on the legend there, you don't have that indicator light. What you have on Legendary is the battery symbol which is on top of the display. Right now it's showing 100% that means the Legendary is working on internal battery. At the back of the Legendary and PB560 they're slightly different and you will find this power button that we mentioned before that you need to check if it's accidentally turned off because sometimes some of the machine doesn't have this plastic cover and then the switch can easily turn off accidentally. Now the next thing is the DC cable between the Legendary and the PB560. They look the same but the Legendary have two pin inside and the PB560 has six pin inside. Now the way to remove this connector you need to grab on the side of the connector and then just pull it. You will see two pin inside and make sure they're not broken. Same thing with the PB560. You grab to the side of the connector and then just pull it. And then you will see six connector inside. This is our PB560 that mounted at the back of the wheelchair and usually you will find the ventilator mounted on the backpack like this. Now I'm going to show you the three lights that power the machine. The first light is the one with the sinusoidal sign. You will see that the light lit up right now and that means your machine is connected to the AC power. Now when the power is switching from AC to DC, or in this case your wheelchair battery, um, the light will lit up beside this straight line with the dash dash dash. I will show you in a minute. Now you see the light is lit up. That means the machine is running on the wheelchair battery right now. So the third light with the battery symbol, it's telling you that the machine running from internal battery when the light is switching to this indicator. So now the machine is running on internal battery and if your machine is connected to the wheelchair and the battery indicator lights up that's telling you that your wheelchair battery is not connected or there's something wrong with the wire on um, the wheelchair and the machine in normal condition when the machine is wired to the wheelchair you will see here the um, straight light with dash 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 will lit up that will indicate you that the machine is running on the wheelchair battery. Now when the light is not lit up then you might want to check either the machines working from internal battery or otherwise the machine will just shut off. Mm -hmm. So this is the setup that we usually have on the wheelchair. Um, on your wheelchair you will find this gray box 
and it depends on your chair it could be at the front it could be at the back uh, you just have to look for that gray box uh, that gray box it's called converter and the purpose is to stabilize um, the 24 volts uh, from the wheelchair battery now coming out from that gray box you have this black and red wire the black and red wire will have the black and red Anderson connectors that's what we call these connectors and also another wire is the uh, white wire with black and white strip on it and that one has the black and purple connector now on that black and red wire usually we have the 10 amp fuse in line that we put in for protection for our machine um, in case something happened you might want to check the fuse and if the fuse blown you need to call us so when the ventilator is not running from the wheelchair battery first you need to check the light indicator on the ventilator and if the DC light is not lit up then we need to do troubleshooting so I'm gonna show you how we troubleshoot this uh, problem first of all you need to check um, the on off switch at the back of the ventilator make sure it's not accidentally turned off so if it's not then the next step you can check the Anderson connector we'll start from the red and black connector so make sure the red goes to the red and the black goes to the black and then the next one that you need to check is your purple and black make sure they're connected purple to purple black to black now if all connected then you might wanna check the fuse there's a 10 amp fuse that I mentioned before you might want to open it and if you can see between the two there is a line that connecting this fuse so if that disconnected that means the fuse blown then you need to call us at 1-866-326-1245 the next one that you want to check is this right angle connector if you check all the wires connected the fuse is in a good condition then unplug this one from the back of the uh, ventilator and you can look at inside this hole measure all the pins not broken now, if it's broken then you can call us and we can send you just this part the connector with the purple and black Anderson connector. Thank you for watching and if you still have any question regarding the chair wiring you can call us at 1-866-326-1245